Miss B friends. Welcome back to another story. I am so excited that you have stopped by for another read aloud video. If you haven't already done so, I would love for you to subscribe below so you can get more books with Miss B stories every single week. You won't miss out at all. And stop by my Instagram page at books with Miss B. There you can follow along for more book love. If you didn't already know, my name is Miss B and I am the creator of this YouTube channel. So today's story is being read with permission by the author himself. And we'll get to that in just a minute. I'm so very grateful. But before we read, I need you, my sweet human, sitting right there. Yes, I'm talking to you. I need you to lean in super close. Mm -hmm. Turn up your listening ears. And I want you to listen to this one very incredibly important thing. And that thing is that you, my very special friend sitting right there, are without a doubt in my mind. Absolutely perfect. Just the way you are. True story. So please don't try to be anybody else. Don't do it. Love who you are. Got it? Be you. Miss B loves you too. Like crazy from the bottom of my heart. Okay. So I have to tell you guys, this guy, this author, an incredible artist, has written a book I bet you've heard before. Probably two books, maybe three books. He's been writing for many, many years. 15, over 15 years. Have you heard of the story Press Here? Maybe. Maybe you've heard of his story Mix It Up. Has lots to do with three special colors. Primary colors. Colors that you might see in my earrings today. Red. Do you know your primary colors? Hmm? Red yellow and blue that's right three primary colors and the author's name is Hervé Toulet he is from Paris and he has given me permission to read this story one of my favorite stories with you it is not press here it is not mix it up it is a different one that I think you're gonna love so let's get started thank you Mr. Toulet Mwah. We need a title by Hervé Toulet. This is the author right there. Let's get started. This is the very first page. Lots of creative drawings in this one. All right. Hey, someone's watching us. Guys, come here. Look at this. There are people here and they've opened a book. That's you. That's me. Hi there. Who are you? What do you want? You're very sweet anyway. characters can we see so far? Look at this guy. Wow! There's a lot. So what now? I think they'd like a story. What? How are we supposed to do that? Maybe you could come back later. Mm, uh, yes, that, that would be great. We're not quite ready yet, you see. Guys, the book isn't finished. Shall we put it away for another day? No? Okay, we'll keep it. We could try adding a bit of color. Ooh, good idea. That would make everything much prettier and neater. Hmm, yeah, it's really messy here. What about a landscape? I'll go and find one. Well, mm, how is it? Ooh, is that better? What do you think? It's pretty. Sunset? Sun's going down over the water. Hmm, hmm, 
Hmm, we're boring you, aren't we? Hmm, sorry. Are you bored? What are we going to do now? Well, sometimes in stories there's a bad guy. Hmm, yes, good idea. Hey, you, bad guy, come here. here you're meant to scare them were you scared oh yes hello there aren't they sweet i could just eat them up do you have an idea for a story or not if not the very sweet people will leave the thing is we're still not ready you can say that again Nah, I don't know anything about that, but I do know it isn't very easy. You're going to need someone else. An author. Hmm. Really? Well, what is he doing? And where is he? Oh dear, some story this is turning out to be. Where could the author be? Okay, don't move. We have an idea. Let's get you out of here. You'll see this author is much better at making up stories than we are. Yeah, he's not bad. We just haven't seen him in a long time. Hey, author. Are we gonna find him? Can you help me? Everybody scream. you get in here? He doesn't look too happy. Hmm. Uh-oh. Is this his studio where he works? Sorry to disturb you. Sorry, but you can't stay here. I'm not ready. This book isn't finished yet. But they want a story. You could at least try. They've come so far. They're really nice too. And they did actually choose your book. True story. Hmm, Mr. Tule. Fine, fine. Just one story. One teeny tiny story. And then you guys have to get out of here, okay? Okay. Yippee, a story at last. Hooray. Everybody's excited. Me too, are you? Right then, <clears throat> let's get started. Once upon a time, on a beautiful sunny day, our heroes were walking peacefully along a road when all of a sudden... A monster attacked them! But the beautiful kind fairy who knew a magic spell and had a magic wand said, beat it, bad guy. Hmm. She bonks him on the nose, right? Right with her magic wand. And the evil monster, oh, left, scratch, scratch, went off, scratch, scratch, disappeared. Hmm. Reading 
Will that do? Well, hmm. it was a little short, actually. You could have tried a bit harder. At least we look good in the pictures. <laughs> but the ending was so-so. It was so-so. Look, if you're not happy, you can go and look for a story somewhere else. There are a lot of books. Lots of other books, you know. Get out. What'd you think? It's pretty good. And before you leave, could you do me a little favor, dear reader? Press here, please. Press right here. Ready? Press it. Thank you. And if you see any other people, other readers, tell them not to choose this book. Right, not right now at least. Not until we have a title anyway. Hmm. Hey readers, can you turn the light back on? Okay, we'll switch it on again. It's just here. Well, he still doesn't seem too happy. Is he gone? Let's press right here, ready? Phew. Oh, thanks. We should have hold it against him. The author was really nice. Yeah, it was pretty cool what he did. But what are we going to do now? Well, there are no more pages left, so... Hmm. We'll say goodbye to each other then. Yes, goodbye. Oh, thanks for coming. Bye-bye. Ciao. See you. Hmm, wanna play? Look at all the cool drawings that he did. This, my friends, is what you call a work in progress. And do you know the game they're playing? Where I'm from, and maybe where you're from, they call this game badminton. And this little thing is known as a birdie. Fun fact, my sister played badminton when she was in school. Hmm. Look, he, he's wondering, maybe this should be a ball instead of a bird. Question mark. The end. I hope you enjoyed this story. Help! We need a title by Hervé Toulet. If you don't have this story, please visit the link below. I will put it in the description of this video so you can scoop it up and add it to your own home library. Also, if you haven't already done so, please subscribe below so you can get more books and mystery stories every single week. Until next time, I love you all like crazy from the bottom of my heart. Bye! Mwah! Hi, my books with Miss B friends. Uh, I have something very important I want you all to know. Please, always remember this. Remember that it is always And don't try to be anybody else but who you are. Because, in case you didn't know, I'm going to tell you. You are, without a doubt, in my mind. <laughs>